The story we've all been wallowing closely. Time may be running out of the search for a sub with five people missing somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. Oxygen supply could be depleted by morning and the search zone is enormous. Our Michelle Fisher is here with what the latest on still a rescue mission. Yes, a rescue mission holding out hope for sure. That dwindling oxygen oxygen supply is concerning, but tonight again, we're all holding out hope as this rescue intensifies. The U.S. Navy has sent a portable crane known as the Fly Away Deep Ocean Salvage System that can search up to 20,000 feet. That system has to be welded onto a chartered ship before it can search the water. That process could take up to 24 hours of around the clock work. And again, time is running out. We will continue to work as hard and as quickly as possible in an effort to locate them. A race against the clock tonight as the search continues to find the Ocean Gate Titan and the five passengers inside. Crews from the U.S., Canada and France now scouring more than 10,000 square miles of ocean. The surface search is now approximately two times the size of Connecticut and the subsurface search is up to two and a half miles deep. Captain Hamish Harding, Titanic researcher Paul Henry Narjulay, Ocean Gate CEO Stockton Rush, Shazada Daoud, and his 19-year-old son Salomon left Sunday morning on an underwater expedition to see the Titanic wreckage, their vessel losing communication an hour and 45 minutes into the journey. The search intensifying with the vessel's oxygen supply expected to run out Thursday morning. The U.S. Coast Guard saying Canadian aircraft detected underwater noises described as banging in the search area Tuesday and again Wednesday. That data was sent immediately to, uh, to the Navy uh, last night and it was analyzed overnight. They're still looking at it, but I can tell you that it's, it's inconclusive. What I can tell you is we're searching in the area where the noises were detected and we'll continue to do so. Amid the search, revelations coming to light about the Titan's safety. A letter obtained by the New York Times and verified by ABC News shows that in 2018, the year Titan was built, members of a committee that specializes in submersibles expressed unanimous concern about the vessel's safety. OceanGate reportedly making changes after that letter. Mike Reese has completed four OceanGate dives, including one to the Titanic site. Communication was lost at least briefly every single time. It just seems baked into the system. I don't I don't blame the submarine as much as I blame deep water. It is hard to imagine what the passengers inside the Titan have been dealing with. Another thing to consider is water temperature at deep ocean depths can be freezing even slightly below, making for a cold, uncomfortable situation inside that vessel as these five people fight for their lives. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.